G'day, in today's video, I wanted to run through setting up a project for the first time in Final Cut Pro. So if you're new to Final Cut or are coming across from a different editing program, I'm just gonna show you some very basics about setting up your first project and some of the formats I follow to set up every project just to keep things consistent and everything in a nice, easy spot. Let's jump into it. Rightio, so the first thing I do with my projects is make sure all of my footage and audio is in the one folder. So I'll create a folder for each project. So I've just called this one science and I put today's date. And then I've got an audio folder, which is the voiceover. And then I've got the stock footage, which I've popped in as footage. So that way, when I put them into Final Cut, they're already in a nice, neat folder. So let's come across and jump into Final Cut. I'm gonna select new project and we'll come across, I'm gonna select my folder that I just created. Let's call this science and I'll pop today's date and I'll save that. So that's gonna open up over on this left-hand side here. It's already created an event with, which is today's date. I like to change that to media and I'll also create a new event called projects. And this just helps me keep things simple on this side. So I've got this one area, which now you can go into import, media, navigate to wherever your project was. So mine's in science. I'm gonna select the footage and the audio section. Now you can either copy to a library or leave in place. I always just leave in place so I'm not duplicating files and having extra hard drive space. So I'm gonna bring that in. Now you'll see here, because we had those in two different folders, it's given us these subfolders here. So that way you can come in and it's not all just sitting in one messy space. So if you had an A cam, a B cam, a C cam or gimbal drone, all that kind of stuff, you can kind of pre-designate that in those folders. And then when you import, it's going to be nice and easy to scroll through this section to see what sections you're using. I've definitely found that useful over the years. So in your projects area, this is where I'll go new project and that'll bring up the window to select how you want your project to look. So we're just gonna call this, I'm just gonna call this draft 001 and I'll leave this, I might just make this a 1080p version. Um, because this is stock footage, there's a bunch of different frame rates, but in general, in Australia, I'm working in 25p. So I'll just stick with that for the moment. Uh, leave the rendering as ProRes and audio just leave as the same. So I'm going to click OK. Now in my projects file, that's brought up my project. And again, it's separate from my media file. So it's not all getting mixed up, which is just super handy and a bit easier for me to manage visually. So I'm going to click on footage. Now in here, I like to press B and just be able to scrub through the footage like that. And then from there, you can start to pick out any highlighted sections you want to create if you don't want to keep the whole section. So if you press I, which is an in point where you want to start and then scroll across to where you want to finish as an out point, then you can press favorites and there'll be a green little highlight on top. So I'm going to come in here. I like that little push in. So we've got in, and then I'm gonna press O and then favorites that. Then we've got this little dropper here. Press favorites. This whole shot's static, so it's all good. Press favorite. And then favorites on that one. Now you can then come up to the viewer here and select favorites and it'll only show you those selected areas. So that's a great way to neaten out your kind of files if you've already had time to go through them rather than going through it on your timeline. 
So for the audio, I did a couple of different takes of the the voiceover. So I dare say it'll be the end one. So I'll just highlight that, make that the favorite. So then if, if you were sitting in your favorites, then you've only got your one take. And you can do multiple favorites out of the one clip. So let's pretend this was another good take. Favorite, if we selected that, then you've got two different favorites of the one clip. So let's kind of undo that. So that's an option just so you can see less footage once you've kind of gone through and culled what you don't need. And also once these are on the timeline, you can actually still maneuver through the footage anyway. So I'm just gonna select all those, which is Command A. I'm gonna press the letter D, which puts everything on the timeline, or you could drag and drop, same thing. So I'm gonna zoom in, which is Command Plus. If the Command Plus doesn't work straight away, sometimes you just have to leave the project and come back into it. Um, I'm not, I have no idea why that is, but every now and then that does it to me. So it just is what it is. You can come up to this section here for your viewer and press Fit, and that'll make the screen as large as it needs within what you've got available. Uh, and then you can play it on your timeline. And once you're on your timeline, the fastest way I've found is just to use the select A, which is just your cursor, and then you can slide and trim back and forth at the end. So when you hover over the clip, you'll see a little bracket and arrows. So you can expand past what you already selected or trim to make it shorter. And you can just make little adjustments that way. I find that handy. The other option as well is you, if you press T, then you can actually, without lengthening or shortening the clip, you can actually slide around within the clip. So go to the front and back of it and just alter your selection that way. If you don't want to change the length of what you had already selected. So we'll just trim that one there. You've also got, if you command B, that slices at the point your cursor was at, and then you could delete that section. So it's just the same as trimming that way. There's a few other shortcuts, but I'll just keep it pretty simple for the moment. And so for this little science story that we're creating, I'm gonna start with very obvious lab shot go into maybe another teamwork shot and then a little swishing the beaker. So the beaker doesn't start swishing till towards the end there. So I'm going to move that across. So it's swirling right from the start. And then the shot racks to her eyes, which is cool. Now we're going to make this about 15 seconds long and then end on that computer shot. So I'll just watch that back. So this is just five simple stock shots. And then make, I'm just gonna pull this out to be 15 seconds long. All right, now, so with these stock shots, they don't come with audio. So I've just recorded uh, just a random voiceover. So if I select the, you can also, sorry, if you're not in favorites, you can go back and just kind of click on the green highlighted area and we'll bring that in. And then you can actually designate roles and things, but we'll keep it simple for the moment. Welcome to the forefront of scientific exploration, where every hypothesis is a potential breakthrough and every experiment holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe at Biolabs. So, I can come in and trim some of the dead space of the audio just to try and make it fit as well. So I'm just going to cut that out, slide that in. 
So it's obviously a bit too long, so we'll figure that out in a sec. Welcome to the forefront of scientific exploration, where every hypothesis is a bit Just trim that little part there. So I'm just gonna slide this down and then trim it back. Where every hypothesis is a potential breakthrough and every experiment holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. At Biolabs 101, we are passionate about pushing the boundaries of knowledge and driving innovation forward. So obviously my voice over there goes for 16 seconds. It's a bit hard to trim any further without Welcome to the forefront of scientific faster. exploration, where every hypothesis is a potential breakthrough and every experiment holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. At Biolabs 101, we are passionate about pushing the boundaries of knowledge and driving innovation forward of the universe. At Biolabs 101, we are passionate Biolabs 101. Maybe because the name is not real. Universe. At Biolabs, we are... We could just fake that for the minute. Let's have a look. We are passionate about pushing the boundaries of knowledge and driving innovation forward. Rightio, so let's just make the, the clip a little longer because my voice every over hypothesis was so long. Every hypothesis is a potential breakthrough and every experiment holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. At Biolabs, we are passionate about pushing the boundaries of knowledge and driving innovation forward. So the other option you could do, so you select all, go control, new compound click. We'll just do, call it VO, and you can actually speed up clips just by dragging the end. So I'll drag this to the 15 second mark. It might sound funny. We'll have a look. Welcome to the forefront of scientific exploration, where every hypothesis is a potential breakthrough and every experiment holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. At Biolabs, we are passionate about pushing the boundaries of knowledge and driving innovation forward. So it's got that funny little sound there. So we'll just leave it longer because it absolutely doesn't matter in this case because it's just an example. I'll just bring out the clips. So now we're going to come down and just, uh, I'll just make that audio sound a little better just for giggles. So I'm just going to search for compressor in the effects, pop that on and then we'll play it back. The forefront of scientific exploration where every hypothesis is a potential breakthrough and every experiment holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. At Biolabs, we are passionate about pushing the boundaries of knowledge and driving innovation forward. Cool. And so that's just made it a little bit louder with the compressor, a bit more solid. And I'm just going to do voice isolation. We'll listen to it at 50%. Welcome to the forefront of scientific exploration, where every hypothesis is a potential breakthrough and every experiment holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. At Biolabs, we are passionate about pushing the boundaries of knowledge and driving innovation forward. And what I'll also do, just for giggles, just to make this a bit more corporate-y. Alrighty, so I've just jumped over and grabbed a quick sciencey upbeat vibe from Artlist. I'm just going to pull this into my folder and I'll pop it in audios. So drag it over here. You can drag and drop things from any folder, but I just find if I keep it all in the one, when I go to archive the folders, that way everything's in the same spot and not necessarily having things on different drives at different times. Now I'm just going to listen to the best part of the song. All right, that looks like could be a good little starting point. Welcome to the forefront of scientific exploration where every hypothesis is a potential. Now it's going to make this about minus 20. Welcome to the forefront of scientific exploration, where every hypothesis. Welcome to the forefront of scientific exploration, where every hypothesis is a potential breakthrough, and every experiment holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. At Biolabs, we are passionate about pushing the boundaries of knowledge and driving innovation forward. So then, just as a bit of an ender, we could pop this back up to. Zero, just listen for the end. Okay, it's 
doesn't really have an ending as such. So I'm just going to go up to generators, go to solids. I'm just going to pick custom. And then you can come up and change the color. I'm going to make it white. Then I'm going to go to titles and I'm just going to get a very basic title and just make this. It's probably set to white, so I probably can't see it. What feels sciencey? Green. Now I think it was bio, what do we call it? Bio labs, one of, oh, bio labs. Let's have a listen. Of the universe at Bio Labs, we are passionate about. Call it Bio Labs. Let's let's call it funny. Bio. Just in case someone's got that name, I'll misspell it. If you want to make sure things are centered, just go into view and show horizon. That just gives you a crosshair. So we can do that. And I'm just going to keep this very simple. If you do command T, that's just a fade in. And driving innovation forward. Um, and then we can just right. press R. That's your selection tool, and then we can just select the audio. We'll just bring that back to level. About pushing the boundaries of knowledge and driving innovation forward. So you could have any any sorts of top and tail uh, at the start and the finish of the video, but we'll just leave that there. We'll see how that trims. Cool, so that all finishes. You just make sure that ends there. So let's just play that and have a quick listen. Welcome to the forefront of scientific exploration, where every hypothesis is a potential breakthrough and every experiment holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. At Biolabs, we are passionate about pushing the boundaries of knowledge and driving innovation forward. So from there, I would come up and obviously if your footage needed color grading and all that kind of stuff, then that's a whole different kettle of fish. But you'd come up to the export and out, out of the box, you can pretty much use any of these Apple device settings and they'll be suitable for most of your social media. The highest quality you go to is export file and that pretty much sets it out at the highest quality. Just make sure you've got video and audio selected it'll set to the resolution that you started your project at. So we set this as 1080p. And then obviously it shows you the file, estimated file size and it'll be a, a basically a quick time movie. So you're looking at 365 megs. So if I just go through and select the HD Apple devices, you see this come out at 27. And yeah, that's a pretty good compressed version. Um, so we'll just select that for now. Uh, I'm going to make it will go to the last folder that you saved it in so I'm going to come back and select science I create a folder called exports just so I can keep it nice and neat name it whatever you want press save and the video will export to your folder Rightio, so I hope that helps you out there I've really enjoyed using Final Cut over the years but obviously there's a few different editing softwares out there so just use whatever's best suited to your situation also there's a thousand different ways and shortcuts and advances you can do within Final Cut so just get playing and if you've got any questions leave a comment below otherwise we'll catch you in the next one cheers